Well, hi, everybody. And if no one has done it yet, let me be the first. Happy Labor Day weekend to you all. This is meteorologist Joe Rayo from the home base in Putnam Valley. Normally, when I do a video, it's to uh, alert you to something adverse that might be happening in terms of weather. But nothing like that. The weather is beautiful today. It's going to be lovely again tomorrow and nice for Labor Day Monday. This video is actually more of an astronomical nature to alert all of you about something that will appear in the sky. And I hope you have a chance to look at during the late night hours or during the overnight hours tonight, Saturday into, if you care to stay up so late, the wee hours of Sunday morning. It is going to involve a conjunction, uh, an astronomical term regarding two celestial bodies that come relatively close to each other. The uh, object in question is the moon, and tonight the moon is going to have company as it moves across our nighttime sky. It's going to be accompanied by a bright planet. No, not Venus, not Jupiter. This planet is the planet Mars. And normally, in most cases, when we have Mars in the sky, it doesn't really attract a whole heck of a lot of attention. Mars, after all, is a relatively small planet. It's only about twice the size of our moon, and usually Mars is located tens of millions of miles, sometimes over 100 million miles away. And so when it's in the sky, and it is visible to the unaided eye, when it's in the sky, it doesn't really stand out all that much. Um, in most cases, you have to know what you're looking at. You might look around the sky and say, and if I were next to somebody, I'd say, oh, there's Mars. And, say, and that person would say, yeah, what, what is that? That bright star up there, that, that star with that slightly uh, orange yellow color? It normally does not stand out. Tonight, it's going to stand out. Let me assure you that tonight it will stand out, partially because it will be near the moon, but also because a month from now, on October the 6th, Mars is gonna make its closest approach to the Earth until the year 2035, for goodness sake. It will be only 38 million miles away on October 6th. Tonight, it'll be 44 million miles and it will still stand out. It, it's gonna be bright. Now, let me change that. It's going to be super bright. How bright? The brightest star in the sky is Sirius, the dog star. That really stands out. Mars will be even brighter than that. And with its yellowish-orange tinge, it'll stand even more out than, uh, than uh, most other objects in the sky. And again, being close to the moon, uh, you will see it tonight. Now, a lot of people I know, when they look skyward tonight, it's, uh, for goodness sake, it's a Saturday night of a Labor Day holiday weekend. So a lot of you will probably be outside. You get a look at the moon tonight, you're gonna to say to yourself, what is that thing? That thing right above the moon. Some of you might think it's a UFO. Some of you might think it's a satellite. Maybe a few of you will call up your local television and radio stations and ask. Uh, but again, it is nothing to be concerned about. It is not a UFO, certainly. It is the planet Mars. To show you what we're going to see tonight, I'm going to use a special type of uh, piece of software. It, uh, it animates or it replicates what the sky will look like, not only tonight, but also for any night in the distant future or any night in the distant past. It's called Starry Night Pro, and uh, you can easily obtain it for yourselves and put it on your own computer. I will leave it up to you. You can Google Starry Night Pro and you can find, find out the uh, website and uh, check out. There are various types of this software. I'm using one of the more basic uh, software uh, right now to uh, give you this demonstration. To do that, I'm going to share my screen with you right now. And I'm going to open it up, open the page up so that you'll be able to uh, take a look. There we go. Isn't this wonderful? It's like having a planetarium on your computer. And right now, what I've done is I'm uh, setting it up to show you what uh, things are going to look like in the sky tonight. This is the view. Uh, if you were in the middle of Central Park. Of course, most of you will not be in the middle of Central Park uh, at uh, 1023 tonight, which is what this uh, animation or simulation is showing you right now. But if you have a clear view toward the east-southeastern sky uh, at, uh, again, 1020 or 1030 at night, this is what you're going to see. You'll see the moon, a waning gibbous moon. We're now a few days past the full phase. And above and to the left, shining very brightly, will be Mars, shining with a kind of a yellowish orange tint. In the simulator here, it looks more red than anything else. We call Mars the red planet, but really, if you've ever seen it in the sky, it looks a lot more orange yellow as opposed to red. And now I'm gonna move things along here for you uh, to show you how 
as the minutes pass, the moon and Mars will climb higher and higher in the sky. And notice also that as the moon and Mars get higher, the moon appears to be getting closer to Mars. The uh, normal east to west motion across the sky of the sun, moon, and planets is caused by the rotation of the Earth. But the moon is moving around the Earth in its own orbit, and it's moving off to the east. And that's exactly what you're seeing here on the screen. You're seeing the moon slowly but surely progress more toward the east or more toward the left. You normally don't notice that typically uh, most nights, but you will notice it tonight because Mars will serve as kind of a benchmark, if you will, to set off that uh, movement as it uh, moves or progresses across the sky. You will be able to see how the moon moves relative to Mars. And uh, the closest that these two objects are going to be to each other, Mars and the moon, will be at 1224 tonight. Now, if you notice when they came above the horizon after about 10 o'clock tonight, Mars appeared to the upper left of the moon. Well, when they're closest together, together at 1224 tonight, that's will be when Mars will be only about a half a degree above the uh, upper limb of the moon. At that hour, 1224, you will see Mars sitting directly above the moon, right above it. There you go, right there. And again, I'm sure that people who are looking skyward during the late evening hours tonight, they'll look up at the moon and say, what the heck is that bright? I, I assure you, Mars is going to stand out tonight next to the moon like the proverbial sore thumb, so to speak. So there you go, 1224, Mars and the moon will be closest together as seen from New York. And if any of you happen to be watching uh, on the World Wide Web, this video right now, and if you live in South America, you have a real treat in store tonight. Folks across much of South America will see an eclipse of the planet Mars. The moon is actually going to go uh, in front of or pass in front of the planet Mars, what astronomers refer to as an occultation. Unfortunately, we will not be able to see that from here in New York or any place in the United States. But still, Mars, very bright, shining very brightly next to that uh, three-quarter illuminated moon. Actually, the moon will be about 86% illuminated uh, tonight. So that's where they'll be at 1224, high in the uh, uh, east-southeastern sky for all to see. And then after 1224, the moon will continue on its way to the east. And as it does, it will separate or get further away from Mars. And you can see that quite readily as I speed time up here in the simulator. Notice, if you will, now, just an hour later, the moon appears to be off to the lower left of Mars. I remember when, when they first appeared around 10 o'clock, the moon was off to the lower right of Mars. Now, by 1.15 a.m., the moon has moved enough so that you can see its movement. You can see how it has moved off to the lower left. And with the passage of time, uh, that separation between Mars and the moon will get greater. In fact, if you're out all night, if you're out until, uh, let's say, 4.30 in the morning when dawn breaks and it just starts to get bright, Mars and the moon will have separated by quite a bit. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to move the moon down here. And then I'm just going to jump here. This is 2.42. Here's 3.42. I'm sorry if I'm jumping along here. This is the first time I ever tried this, uh, sharing a screen. But look at this now, 4.42 AM. Look how much the moon and Mars have separated in that time frame. Again, you'll be able to see how the moon uh, moves relative to Mars through the course of the night. But of course, they'll be most impressive when they're closest to each other at uh, 1224. Let me jump now to, here we go, this is 542, and now they are dropping down toward the uh, southwestern or west-southwestern horizon, and they'll be, you know, widely separated. And by then, the sky will be brightening quickly. But Mars and the moon are so bright that even within a half an hour of sunrise, you still should be able to see them quite clearly against the blue daytime sky. This is for 640, uh, 625 in the morning. And again, by then, just about all of the stars will have faded out. The only two objects that will be visible uh, in the sky, aside from Venus in the eastern sky at that hour, will be Mars and the moon. But again, they will be well separated uh, by that particular time frame. Now, for those of you who have 
you might ask, you know, what about if I have binoculars or a telescope? What will I see? Well, uh, that's a good question. And I'm going to show you, we're going to, uh, again, use the simulator. I'm going to zoom in here, first zoom out, and then I'm going to zoom in and show you what you can uh, see if you have uh, a good pair of binoculars. Well, if you uh, look tonight uh, at the moon, and this is the best time to look at the moon when it's uh, not quite full, but uh, you get to see a lot, especially right along the so along the terminator, the uh, the line that separates night and day on the moon's surface. That's when craters really stand out. They're in shadow, and you get to see uh, everything stand out in sharp relief. Uh, uh, again, with binoculars, or if you will, if you have a small telescope, uh, you get to see a lot. Uh, the, the moon is always a very, very impressive object to look at, be it with binoculars or a telescope. Now, if you have a good telescope, you will be able to see Mars. Mars is best seen uh, when you look at it through, a, let's say, a telescope magnifying about 100, 100 power. Um, at this time, when Mars is relatively close to us, you get to see Mars, and you also get to see some of the features on Mars, some of the dark zones. And in fact, um, in the southern end of Mars, the bottom of uh, Mars, uh, you might even be able to see the Martian polar cap. The simulator doesn't show this all that well here, but uh, this is one of the few times when even a small telescope should be able to show you quite a bit because again, Mars is, is rather close to us uh, at this particular moment in time, 44 million miles tonight, and it'll get even closer uh, next month. Again, it'll be closest on October 6th when it will be about oh, 38 million miles away. But again, this video, I just wanted to point this out to you all tonight to look for the moon, look for Mars, take out, you know, uh, get, get your friends, maybe tell your neighbors about this, because it's not too often that, you know, we get to see a conjunction like this of the moon and, and Mars appearing so very, very bright in our sky. Uh, when you get to see it, something like this, uh, it kind of attracts attention. And a lot of people, again, don't often notice this, but you will definitely notice this tonight. The moon and Mars rather close to each other in the sky. I'm going to mm -hmm. stop the share right now and uh, again, come back uh, full screen to you. Uh, Again, this is something again that will be visible in our sky overnight tonight, this uh, Labor Day, Saturday night weekend, um, from about 10 o'clock when they begin to come high enough above the horizon for you to see. 1224, they'll be closest together. And if you're out through the rest of the night, you'll be able to see the moon actually move away from Mars and the separation between the two, Mars and the moon, will get wider as we move through the early hours of Sunday morning. So it should be rather interesting to see. And I hope, again, you all get a chance to look at it and uh, check it out. Again, tell family and friends about it, too, because uh, it should make for a rather interesting and pleasing celestial tableau in our sky uh, tonight. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching this, uh, this video. Uh, this appears on my uh, channel on YouTube, Joe Rayo Weather on YouTube. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything for you to do so. And again, periodically from time to time, we alert you to things like this astronomically or meteorologically. If we have some uh, adverse weather event coming up, a major storm or uh, some sort of thing that we think that you should be aware of in the coming days ahead, we let you know it right here on Joe Rayo Weather. So again, thank you very, very much. Please make it a safe rest of your holiday weekend. And uh, we'll see you again next time right here on Joe Rayo Weather. Have a good one, everybody, and uh, see you soon.